I want to talk about something scary. I forgot the name of the movie. I think it was called Final Destination. But uh, if anyone who has seen that movie knows that this over here is a scene from Final Destination. No, it's not officially, but this would be a great scene to include in that movie. So the movie premise goes something like this. These kids, these teenagers keep having these premonitions. They're seeing their own death. Oh, scary. They are. They're having dreams or visions, and they can foresee or predict their own death. Guys, would that not be the worst way to die ever? Something horrible happened. This tractor all comes flying forward, and these hay spears, there's two of them. They go right through the cab of that tractor. And one of them goes right to the back of my head. And the other one goes right to the back of that person's head. That would be just the most horrible thing ever. Now, good news is that can't happen. Can't happen because this trailer here has this big, heavy-duty steel... Uh, it's not really a headache rack, but I don't know what you would call it. But the tractor, if it were to break loose somehow, <laughs> God, I don't even want to talk about it. I think it can only go as far as that. God, that's scary, though. Well, good morning, folks. Lester here. And uh, today, I'm going to be taking the tractor back over to the JL Ranch property. Uh, Look, my brother sent over some of his gear, his merch, Daniel Morrow Outdoors. Him and Lou really do love what they're doing, y'all. It's really neat. Now, they both have their full-time jobs, but uh, the both of them just really enjoy the YouTube experience. Same as Tina and Rob, Buddy and Stephanie. Oh, no. I am glad that I stopped to make this video because look what I've noticed right here across the way. Oh no. Guys, that's a leak. That's my water line is leaking. What in the world? Y'all give me a moment here. Here I am talking about how everyone is, oh, Lester Eugene Morrow Jr. Friends, okay. That's a clean break right there in that joint. And so that had to have broken. That was not, that's been under, underground. But because of the water break, it's made it where it's washed all my soil off down towards the pond. Okay, I'm turning the water off, guys. I can take care of this. I'll tell you what, man. You think you're going to have a busy day as it is, and then that comes... My water well's been probably pumping all night long. So I can turn the water off right. One of these goes to the barn, the green one. Okay, that's the one that goes out to the barn. Man, you think you're gonna have an easy day. Busy, but easy as far as the stuff you gotta do for work. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is buy me a, I forgot what they call them, but a splicer where I can cut that pipe back a little bit on each side and then put that little splicer back in there and I'll be set up. I can do that job. That's nothing that I gotta call somebody for. Well, thank you, Lord, that I noticed. You know, the Bible says you give blessings for all things. And so in a way, as much as I hate to have to add something to my plate, it's nice to know that I can fix it myself and I'm not going to be forced to call anybody. Look at this, though. You know what's crazy about this? Everyone has made their jokes about the Longhorns and them, what they're doing over at the other property and how they just wreak havoc on my water. And if, lo and behold, I don't have water issues over here as well. Well, the good news is if there is a good news to this, besides the fact, oh my goodness gracious, hold on. Camera is 
well, maybe it's the sun glare, is that all the water flowed into our pond. So our pond is, it's not like wasted, 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 wasted. Okay, well, I got my work cut out for me today. <laughs> I'm gonna do first things first. I'll get my tractor back where it goes, swing by Lowe's and grab my carpet. And we'll be back over here to take care of this in the afternoon. You guys come with me, please. All right, so I'm still on the hunt to find something for little Gary to, I can put his little pills into for his pain meds. Pecan swirls, I would eat those. There's also pumpkin spice donuts, which I would not eat. And then there's caramel apple. Don't even get me started on those because I would eat more of those than what little Gary would. So I did Google search it before you all go crazy. And like the Google guy says, if the cow already weighs 600 pounds, what's a donut gonna hurt him? <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you all the same thing. Don't go crazy on me. If this little fella is already gonna die, friends, I just wanna find something to make it a little bit less painful, okay? So don't go crazy on me. We've already tried oranges. We've already tried bread. So let's not have that kind of a, let's not have that kind of a video. I'm gonna try these, the pumpkin spice mini donuts. All right, we are still on a quest to find something that little Gary can take his meds in. Today, I think we may try some bananas. I don't know if I need a whole bushel. I'm gonna get the smallest bushel they have here for just in case. Uh, I've also been told to try apples, but I do, oh, here's apples. We do have apples. Guys, we're trying here. We're trying. We're still trying. So I just went live and uh, I tried to feed the donuts. I tried to feed the banana, the apple. Nope. Little Gary wanted nothing to do with it, y'all. Little Gary wanted nothing to do with any of that stuff. So I don't know what to do. He's already turned down bread. He's turned down oranges. Now he's turned down apple. He's turned down a donut. And he's turned down a banana. So, uh, back to the drawing board. Some suggestions include oatmeal, peanut butter. So I'll tell you what, we'll try. But uh, thank you all for the suggestions. I am gonna probably talk to my vet though same lady who worked on him the first time and see what she thinks we might can do figure it out we'll get there y'all we'll get there oh baby so no one's hungry for this food anymore no one is hungry for grain anymore because they've gotten themselves so filled up on the darn feed buggy Gary's using the feed buggy to hold himself up or you got an itch you scratching the itch or you holding yourself up buddy what's Gary doing Gary are you just holding yourself up or are you scratching an itch there huh sir hey sweetie sir what are you doing on that buggy sweet boy fella hi baby girl you need some scratches okay I love her so much I love this girl y'all we love her oh we love her Gary's not eating the snacks. Darn it. Now, Ruby did eat the, eat the donut. Ruby ate the donut, but no one's touched that banana or the apple. No, Gary's scratching the itch what he's doing, y'all. He's not sitting there. He's not stuck. He's scratching an itch. And that's cute. And I'm loving Danny. Oh, I love this girl. I love all these girls. Y'all are so wonderful to love. I have to rake this pasture. I may do that today. No, I don't have time today. I've got to go to Lowe's and get that carpet for the uh, shop. That's going to take a while. I can't rake today, baby. I'm so sorry I can't rake today, but I promise I'll do all this stuff when I have some time. All right, friends. Let me get over here and check on my feed buggy and open those doors a little bit wider. No, they're, they're doing pretty good. The doors are open plenty fine. Their feet is still filling out for them. Oh, there's our sweet girl. Look, even when I put that grain onto the ground, they prefer this over here. Some feed buggy, some good stuff, sweetie. Let's watch Gary scratch his itch. I want to watch him scratch his itch. <laughs> I 
don't care. I feel so bad. I would help you scratch, but I don't know what to do, buddy. I don't want to scare you off. You got to, that tire works pretty good. What is he doing, y'all? What really, what's he doing? I don't know if there's an itch or if he's doing something else. Is he trying to like put his, trying to rehab himself or something? What is he doing? Seriously, what is he doing? All right, the last thing we're gonna do while we're over here at the JL Ranch is to try to find the source of all of those buzzards. I was on a live video this morning and we saw hundreds, I, I repeat, hundreds of buzzards flying over the property and the there was an overwhelming cry to ask me to please go have a look at the uh, cows and horses who live next door. And so I'm gonna do that now. I do have my neighbor's number and I will absolutely let him know if one of his babies are down. So there should be three horses and three cows. There's all of my cows over there, or some of my cows. So we're just gonna circle around here and see if we can spot his, his babies. I am not trespassing, I'm just being neighborly. All right, fine, I'm being a pee pad, okay? I'm being, the, I'm being a pee pad. Okay, here's horses here. That's good, because I was really worried about it being the grandpa horse. But I can see all three horses here. There's one, there's two and three. All the horses are here. horses they're fine that's a relief and I'm gonna stay close to the fence line here because I'm not gonna go across the entire property I'm just gonna stay close to the fence line because remember the buzzards were here on the fence line and those buzzards they have a God's view they can see Look at the how deep this trench is here in front of me. We do not want to run over in that thing, friends. So I'm not going to go across the entire property, guys. That's, that's not being very neighborly of me. But I will say that right along the fence line here, that he and I share a fence line, the horses are fine. Hi, babies. Hey, you guys like oranges? I might have some snacks. I might have some snacks that y'all will like. If y'all will eat an orange, my cows won't even touch them. Oh, pfft. I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry. Grandpa, will you have an orange? I think he's a bit more gentle. I also think that he's eat up with worms. You like that? Don't worry y'all, we've already Googled it. Cows and horses supposedly love citrus. He's like, yeah, a little bit bitter. Okay. All is good. Thank you all for watching and for worrying. I'll go ahead and leave these other oranges here. There's one more in case he wants to have another bite or so. Here you go, sir. And I really am sorry. Oh, oh. okay then, Mr. Grandpa. 
I'll show you all something else that I think is sad. I don't think that's normal. I don't think so, but I don't know. Our horses are geldings. Okay. Thank you all for watching the video. We love you so much. We are so very blessed to have you guys. Thank y'all for worrying about babies that are not even our babies. And what we're gonna do is uh, hope to see the cows at some point, and that will put my mind at ease to know that there's nothing dead, not as far as large animals go. Thank y'all for watching. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.